building a home for yourself gives you the opportunity to construct something exactly the way that you like it. There's never the love that's poured into a home in the same way that there is with a DIY house. And that is exactly the case with this next incredible tiny home that we're about to visit. Hey Meg, how are you? Hey Bryce, nice to meet you. It's great to meet you. Good day, Mitch. How are you, mate? Bryce, I'm good, thanks. Thanks for coming. It is my pleasure to be here and wow, this is a seriously cool house you've built here. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love it. And what inspired you to build this home? Well, I would say we just love the lifestyle of living simple, living with purpose. Yeah, we just really love simplicity. Yeah. yeah. Everything you need in one sort of area and being nice and cosy. And once we sort of started making plans to build one, we got hooked, didn't we? Yeah, fell in love. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and you have done this entirely as a DIY build, haven't you? We have, yes. Um, help from a builder I work with and a lot of late nights, uh, early mornings, doing what we can. And yeah, tried to do as much as we could ourselves just to keep costs down and, and yeah. be involved in the process. And we're really proud of what we've created. As you should be. And what was the process of building this home like? We started off by talking about a, a basic concept, got some drawings done and um, sort of grew from there basically. And had you ever attempted a project like this before? Never. No. We're, we're very, I guess you could say, driven people. So having, you know, a big goal like this to create a home for ourselves was incredible. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Because Mitch, you're a Sparky by trade, so having those relationships with builders to draw on must have been really useful. Definitely was, yeah. We've got a lot of contacts through uh, my business, so we got a lot of uh, you know help with costs and with labour as well, and I guess advice, things like that. So it became very beneficial in, in the build of this project, yeah. And can you talk to me about the design of the home? Well, we've always liked the uh, black with the timber sort of combination. It's a very classic um, look, isn't it? It is, classic, yeah. it is yeah. So uh, I guess the black colour steel was always very stark and on a green backdrop stands out and I feel a lot of people do the colour steel and cedar combination. We decided to go for Macrocarpa with a nice oil. Mm. Very nice and you've got all these wonderful windows opening the home up to the outdoor spot here. Yes of course we feel like living tiny is being outside and enjoying the outdoors which we love as well mm. so yeah and non-negotiable non was a lot of light coming in. Yeah definitely um, yeah. Being able to open up the bifold doors yeah. and windows and of course skylights were a must yeah. for us and I guess that helps a bit of cross breeze on those those hot summer days as well so yeah. functional plus aesthetics right. and you have found an incredible parking spot here haven't yeah, you yeah we have we have it's actually one of Mitch's good friends so we're in on his farm amazing and you've just got such a nice private spot back here as well we do yeah, yeah we you, do you wouldn't know there was any neighbors if, if no. you didn't know and um, it's a little piece of paradise really yeah and what size is the tiny home so it's 7.8 long 2.4 wide 4.3 high it's got the safeed at each end that overhangs slightly which which I think pushes it out to about nine metres long at the top. Perfect. And you've extended it with this wonderful outdoor living space? Yeah, yeah. so we've, we've gone for a um, <laughs> temporary solution for a nice deck there, just using <laughs> some pallets and palings. Lots of pallets. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a whole lot of screws. So it yeah. uh, does the job for us. And um, I think it just makes the front of the tiny look, you know, very homely. It sure does. Yeah, and yeah. it's a great use of pallets too, eh? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> exactly. Well, you have done a smashing job on the exterior of this home, and I cannot wait to see what you've done inside. Can we take a look? Of course, let's go. Thank Inside. you very much. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. What a beautiful home you've created here. Thank you so much, Bryce. It's definitely our little slice of paradise here. I can see that. And I love what you've done with all of these plants. Yes, we are plant obsessed. We're plant crazy. You could call us green thumbs. <laughs> Beautiful lighting features in here as well. Yes, of course. I guess being an electrician, it was something I uh, had to try uh, nail, I guess you could say. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like it does the house justice. Yeah. yeah. Mitch has put dimmer lights everywhere as well. It's, yeah, something else. We thought we would use the brushed gold fittings to match the tapware, yeah. uh, just to give that sort of flow throughout the house. Absolutely. The colours in this home are beautiful. The black, the white, and this floor is gorgeous. Yeah, thank you so much. We really like, you know, the dark flooring with the black kitchen, um, white walls, white bench top. It's, yeah, it goes really well. Yeah, yeah. very stylish. And I love thank the way you. that you've continued the floor onto the stair treads. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we think it looks really nice. 
And I really like the ply and batten feature that you've done on the walls as well. Originally we were hoping to do just a, a nice jib plaster finish, but I guess logistics of moving and movement of the house, we thought there'd be a, a few too many touch-ups to do. So we decided to go for the, the ply with the board and batten. There's a bracing element as well. And we think it really sets the walls off and quite nicely. And the three skylights are such a nice touch. They definitely are. I think that was probably the first thing we drew on our first design for the house. It was a must have in our house. Yeah, it just adds this wonderful sensation of expanse to the home. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing like lying in bed under the stars or, you know, watching the sunrise and set from up there too. So. It's incredible. Yeah. No blinds on them though? No, no. We decided not to. Yeah, we like to see nature. So yeah, yeah, live with the elements. That's right. And you originally built and moved into this house just as the two of you, but you have now a new member of your family, don't you? Yes, we have a wee man. He's almost eight months old and living here with him has just been so much fun. Did you design the home expecting the family to grow? We were expecting the family to grow, but now living in it with our son, we probably would have done a couple of things a little bit differently, but our space still works. That's great. And you've got a very spacious lounge here. Yeah, it's really nice with the big bifold door there. We get some beautiful, you know, sunsets, sunrises even, and it's just gorgeous to look out at nothing, really. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And does the couch transform as well? Yeah, it does. It turns into a wee sofa bed. Um, we just thought it'd be nice for a place for family and guests to sleep when they come visit us, yeah. And you've got the loft up here above the lounge as well. Can you tell me about this? Yeah, so that is basically our zen space. Um, <laughs> I, I love to go up there, you know, when baby's sleeping and read books, stretch, you know, just have some time to myself really. So yeah, it's a really nice space to chill out and relax. Originally in our design, we were looking into a second staircase, but very limited on space. So we thought uh, the ladder would be the best option. That's yeah. good for me as well. And I've got to do my admin work. I can go up there and just get stuck in and no distractions. Having a space to do some work from home is a really nice addition, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's almost essential, especially, I guess, in a tiny home. You're limited on the areas you can use. So it's a multi-use space. And this kitchen design is immaculate. You've done such a great job with this. Thanks, Bryce. It's definitely something we didn't want to compromise on uh, when we designed the space. We wanted full-size appliances, a nice big bench space to prep on, and lots of storage to make it functional. Absolutely, and I completely agree with that statement. The kitchen very quickly becomes the heart of the home, doesn't it? So getting the design right in here is essential. Yeah, absolutely. I love to bake. Baking's my thing. So Mitchell always come home to, well, not always, but Mitchell come home to, you know, yummy cookies, banana bread. Yeah, and having the full-sized oven has been amazing for that. So, yeah. You've got a lot of space to work with in this kitchen as well, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have another pull-out um, bench top down the end there, um, which does come in handy, especially with guests and you know just prepping space in general so. yeah that's a great feature and i'm happy to see a really good size sink in here yes that was a must that was a non-negotiable you can actually fit a full tray in there so <laughs> i love that yeah and i really like the color combinations in here as well this jet black cabinetry offset against the white bench top is just very classy awesome thanks for us we agree with you you know i'm a fan of the color black uh, and especially on white uh, and we feel it sort of brings that darkness out of the floor as well and, and ties it in with the other colours in the house. Yeah, beautiful contrast. It certainly is. Mm. And then, of course, over the other side here under the stairs, you've got all of this additional storage. Yeah, that's actually pull-out pantries and we love our food. So it was a necessity to have lots of storage there, yeah. The fridge blends in beautifully there as well. Yeah, again, we love that dark colourway there and, yeah, I think it looks really good. And another feature that I really like is all of this open storage that you've created above the window there. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, there's nothing better than seeing everything. I love the food that we've got prepped up there and, you know, it's just nice to... Grab it with simplicity, really. So. And what's in the cupboard behind you there? So behind us here is our laundry slash appliance cupboard slash coffee station. And we are coffee lovers, so it's a necessity as well. That is a really tidy way of hiding all that away. And what do we have over the other side there? Yeah, so that's our wardrobe behind us here. We've got two full-length mirrors and it's a nice big space for both of us to share our clothing. Mm. We've got the hanging, hanging space for all our coats and jackets and things like that. And then um, a drawer each for all our other clothes. Again, that is a very tidy way of doing it. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. And behind you, we've got your bathroom. Can we take a look at that? Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Hey, this is a bit luxurious, isn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. No, we love our bathroom. It was one of our main features in the home. So, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> having the dual showers there, wow. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, with a small space for the bathroom, I guess you, you know you have your essential things that need to be in it, and we decided to utilize that side of it by having a double shower. Works really well. I really like the way that you've kept the shower open and haven't needed to use glass as well, because it really just helps to add a sense of spaciousness to the bathroom. Yeah. Originally, we had planned to put glass in, but on using the shower without it, we decided we didn't actually need it. Very sharp tile work in here as well. Thank you. Yeah. It took a while to choose the color of the tiles we would like, but again, went for the the white with the grey and then the brush gold fixtures and we feel it just really sets it off. Absolutely. I really like the full length window you've got in here as well. Yeah, thank you. It brings in a lot of light which is really nice. Nice tidy vanity there too and great that you've got a bit of storage in there as well. Yes, thanks. Yeah, we um, got it custom made to fit the space and then use the same timber that's on the overhead cabinets in the kitchen and, and the same top as well just to tie in the feature. Very nice. And is this a flushing toilet you've got here? It is not a flushing toilet, no. It is a composting toilet, ah. um, even though it may look like it's a flushing toilet. It certainly does. And it's quite cool the way that you've used the tiles to give it a conventional toilet look as well. Yeah, we had a bit of a um, design issue when we installed it. We wanted the toilet in that spot. But unfortunately, with the trailer steel underneath, we had to bring the chute forward for the toilet. Right. Um, so we had to come up with a, a nice tidy way to incorporate it to make it not look like a mistake, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, you've absolutely nailed it because I would have never guessed. And can we take a look at the sleeping loft? Sure can, let's go. All right. Hey, this is such a cozy space up here. Yeah, it is really cozy. It's a really nice place to come and rest your head. Yeah. yeah, and it's so special as well, having such a big skylight because you really get that panoramic view of the sky, oh, don't you? Absolutely, and you can fully sit up in here as well, so it really enhances the space. What is unusual up here, though, is that the bed is really high. Yes, so we have decided to go for storage underneath the bed, just for blankets and baby clothes and things like that. So that was a necessity for mm. us. Yeah. And I guess with the skylight above, it doesn't feel like it's a claustrophobic space with the raised height of the bed. Yeah, and you co-sleep with the baby at the moment, don't you? Yeah, we do. We feel it works very well. He's here with us all the time. And yeah, it works well. Yeah, yeah, great. And you've got the television up here as well? We do, we do. We've probably turned it on once to watch something on your channel, but no, we don't use it. So yeah, it was just here, just in case. Yeah, nice yeah. to have up here anyway. If you do want a movie night or something, it's yeah. always good to have that option. Yeah, that's right. And so how long have you been living in the house now? We've been living here about 18 months now. Great. And how are you finding tiny house life so far? Absolutely loved it. Yeah, mm. I love the simplicity of, you know, having everything in such a small space and just everything on hand. And yeah, it hasn't been a massive transition for us. So yeah. it's been nice. When we moved in here, we previously were renting a bigger house, but basically didn't use three quarters of it. So we didn't actually have to get rid of a lot of things to move in here. It, yeah, it was a smooth transition. And having built this home for yourselves as DIYers, you just must have the most incredible sense of pride in this home now. Oh, we do. We absolutely do, hey? Yeah, it's been a journey, but it's a, yeah. it's a major achievement. We moved into it probably, you know, close to being finished. And then there's a few finishing touches we did while we were in the house, which was actually a good way to do it because we could sort of fine tune the things we we're a little bit unsure about. Um, but it's all come together perfectly. It certainly has. And can we talk about the cost that was involved in building this home? There were a lot of favours, stuff we did ourselves, and being in the trade, we managed to get some good pricing on some things, but roughly it probably cost us about 160000 That is a great result. And of course, that doesn't take into consideration the huge amount of labour that you both poured into this home as well. That's right, yeah. This house means everything to us. You know, it's our place to call home. It's got everything... Yeah, it's more than a house. It's, yeah. it's part of us. It is. It's our baby. And I mean, it's our baby's first home too. And we love being here with him. Yeah. Life's very busy. And when you spend your free time outdoors, hiking and adventuring and stuff like that, you realise that you only need the essentials. We just need us. We need our family and, you know, some cool adventures outside. Mm. And that's really all we need. Yeah, just living within our means and simple and, yeah. And so what does the future hold for you both now? Yeah, so the future is exciting. Um, so we have, you know, another goal ahead of us. Um, we want to build something a tiny bit bigger 
and yeah potentially have a separate room for our son but you know we want to stick with the same ethos and mentality of living simple and purposeful so continue that through our journey as well and we do have two big dogs as well so I mean they've got lots of space outside and they do just have their wee area inside but you know it'd be nice to have that little bit extra room hey that's right yeah absolutely well you've had a fantastic practice run with building in this house haven't you oh yeah and it's been so much fun yeah. yeah, we've learned a lot along oh, the way, yeah. things that would probably change or do a little bit differently on yeah. the next project. But yeah, I feel like this has set us up for the next thing. It certainly has. Yeah. Well, you have done such a beautiful job in this home. What an incredible space that you've created here. And I cannot wait to see what you decide to build next. Thank you so much for sharing your home with me. Thank you so much, Bryce. Thanks for coming, Bryce. My pleasure. This is such an incredible home. Meg and Mitch have created a place that may be small in size, but is huge in style. And now carrying with them the experience of building this tiny home, I cannot wait to see what they create next. <laughs>